Hi, my name is Bill, and today's story is a true story about a very kind family. What made them so kind? Well, we're going to find out in our story called A Room for Elisha. Now, a long time ago, there was a man whose name was Elisha, and Elisha loved Jesus very, very much. So much that he would often go from town to town to town, telling everyone he could about Jesus and his love. You see, Elijah wanted everybody to know how much Jesus loved them, and that Jesus wanted to be their friend. Well, because Elisha often was very far away from home when he'd go on these trips, it would be too hard for him to speak somewhere, come all the way home, eat and sleep, get up the next day and go somewhere else, that often what would happen is someone in the town that he was speaking in would say, Hey, Elisha, why don't you spend the night at our house tonight? We'll give you a good meal. We'll let you spend the night. We'll give you a good breakfast in the morning, and we'll send you on your way. Well, there was one family that really enjoyed it when Elisha came to their town. They loved spending time with him. So they decided that they would give him a big surprise. They decided that they would make a room on top of their house. And every time that Elisha came to town, he would be able to stay in that special room. Now, in the room, they they put all the things that Elisha would need. They put a table and a chair and a lantern and a bed. And when Elisha came to town the next day, they went over to him and said, Hey, Elisha, why don't you come spend the night at our house tonight? And Elisha said, Why, sure, I always enjoy spending time with you. And when he got to the house, he was in for a big surprise. What's that at the top of your house, he asked. Come and take a look, they said. So Elisha climbed the stairs and opened the door to that special room. Wow, look at all the things in here, he said. Elisha, the family said back, this room is your room. Every time that you come to our our town, you're welcome to stay in your own private room. Wow, Elisha was overwhelmed. He couldn't believe how kind this family was to create a room just for him. And you know what? Every time he was in town, he always came back to stay with that family and to stay in his special room. You know, Jesus wants us to be kind to others too, just like this family was kind to Elisha. Can you think of different ways that you can be kind to your family? What about your friends or your teachers or other people that you meet? This week, I want you to be thinking of different ways you can show a little kindness to others. Because when you do that, you're being just the way Jesus wants you to be. Well, it's time for me to say goodbye. But I'll be back again with another Bible story. So until then, bye bye